In this video, we're going to take a brief look at the new design kit version 2 for Brizzy and Brizzy Pro. Now, just before we go ahead, this is accessible on both the free version and the pro version. However, some of the features may be pro only and you won't be able to use those properly or fully without the pro version being installed. With that being said, let's take a look at the new design kit version 2 and how this actually makes the whole process of designing a website incredibly quick and very, very easy. Now be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to give you a way that you could potentially win your own lifetime copy of Brizzy Pro for unlimited websites. That'll be at the end of the video, so like I say, stick around. Okay, so I've got Brizzy installed and Brizzy Pro installed and we've opened up a page with the Brizzy editor ready. So now, how do we access these new design kits? As with pretty much everything inside Brizzy, doing this is incredibly simple. All we need to do is come over, click on the plus and that'll open up the window where we can see all the different blocks we have available. So this window is broken up to various different sections. We can search at the top left hand side. We've then got all the categories, the styles and so on down the left hand side. We can go through and view the layouts, the blocks, the saved blocks and the global blocks at the top. And we've also got the preview window then that allows us to see all the blocks either throughout all the blocks we have available or any of the categories that we choose or any search results that we pull up. So let's take a look what I'm talking about. If we look on the left hand side, we have kit number two, and this is the style kit 2.0. If you want to access any of the designs that we had originally, you can simply come in, drop that down and say style kit one. And there's all the designs you're used to from the previous versions of the style kits available inside Brizzy and Brizzy Pro. However, we're going to focus on the style kit 2.0. So let's select those again. Like always, we've got a light version and a dark version available, so you can easily mix and match these together, or if you want to, you can choose an entirely light design or an entirely dark design. So we can click and you can see this will then swap over and show us the dark iterations of those particular designs. Now, as with everything that Brizzy has done through the entire time they've been offering these style kits and these design layouts, they are incredibly well designed, very professional, very clean, very modern. So if you are using these, you've got a great starting point to work with. You could use them as they are, or you could use them simply as the basis for your own designs. And this is where the rapid development kind of comes in. If you want to quickly prototype a design, you can just choose these various different elements like hero, featured, contacts, and so on. Then you can mock those up, change the images, reorder the text, change the text, whatever you want. And very quickly, you can get a good looking design that has a coherent design sort of language right the way through it. So let's take a look at that in action in a moment. So if we take a look now into the categories, we can filter these down to the hero, to the featured. And you can see that load those in, contact, load those in. And we can take a look at any of these if we want to. So let's start off by taking a look at how we can use these to simply build out a page. Let's start off with a hero image. So let's find something we like. I quite like this one with the headphones. We're going to click on that. That will then load that in, download all the assets. And as you can see, it's pretty quick to download everything. Obviously, this is going to be dependent upon the speed of your internet connection. As with everything inside Brizzy, making changes, this is super simple. We come up, we want to change the background image, for example. We can click, we can choose the different images. So background, we could put a video in there. We can put an image, a color, whatever we want. We can set dynamic content as well if we want to. Let's just take this image out and we'll upload one of our own. So we're going to just choose something different. We'll upload that image, select that. And you can see that now drops that directly inside there. And if I want to, I can easily reposition it just using this simple little dot, which allows you to set the focal point of your image. Now, this is one of those things that I think Brizzy really excels at is the ease and the intuitiveness that you have when you're creating or editing anything inside the editor. It does away with a lot of what we're used to, which is that sort of left hand column, right hand column that has tons of widgets in. It's all done very designer centric. So with that in mind, we can easily make changes to this to make sure the image is positioned exactly as we want to. Once we finish with that, we can click back out of it. If we want to change the text. We can just do that. We can simply come in, type in directly inside there. And we can just say, we'll put an extra word in there. And you can see, super simple to make changes. So we can use these building blocks to quickly and easily make changes globally. So now we put the first image in there. Let's come back in and just choose something else. So this time we're going to go in and say we want to use features, for example. We can filter those out. We can say we want a dark one for this example, just to give us some contrast in the design. And we'll choose this one, just gives us a sort of focal point. And you can see loads that straight in. We can now come in and change and edit anything we want inside here. So let's just quickly add a couple more sections in using the same kind of process. With this time, we're going to come in and we're going to use something like the team. We'll change this to be light so we have that alternating color scheme. 
we'll choose this example. We'll insert that in there. You can see it pulls that information in. And finally, let's just come back in and just say we want to put in a footer. Change those over to the dark mode. And once we've done that, we'll drop this simple clean footer in there. So you can see we've now very quickly created our starting point page. And like I say, we can easily come in and make changes to any of these elements on here. So that's the first part. This is how you can go through and start using this style kit version 2.0. Like I say, it's very consistent, very clean, very nicely designed pieces that you can use as a starting point. But the other thing that really helps set Brizzy apart, especially from Elementor currently, is the ability to globally style and change things. Now, this is one of those areas that when you're working with these style kits, this has been taken into consideration and they all use those predefined styles or style kits. So what we can do is we can come over and we can click on the styling option and inside there we've got current style which is set to overpass. Now what is a style? Well it's basically a series of colours that have been used throughout the site and also typography in various different places. This is again like I say one of those areas that I think Brizzy definitely excels at especially if you're more design orientated than code orientated. You can create and deploy styles throughout your entire site with just a simple click of a button. So let's take a look at that. So currently, like I said, we're using this overpass, which has a range of different colors. If we choose a different one, for example, Ashen, you'll see that any of the fonts that are referenced will change. So you can see now that this has changed. This is a good example. You can see these headers. Let's come back out. Let's just change it to a different one like magazine. And that now changes, as does any of the colors that are being utilized. So you can see the icon that we have above this five reasons to purchase section. That will change color. So let's just try something different. Let's try Oblivion. And you see that now changes to green, the fonts change and everything else that uses it. So it's incredibly simple. If we want to change that, we can come back out. Let's go back to this magazine one. And what we can do is where this blue is being used, we could click on the blue color and we could change that to something different. So we may want to set that to be like this purpley color. Well, we can do that and that now will apply throughout the entire site anywhere that uses that icon. Anywhere that references that color, that will change. So it's really simple to go through the process of changing these things out, creating your own style kits and also then applying that globally across your entire site. Just speeds up the whole process of designing just tenfold it really is one of those real game changers for a lot of designers just makes the process super simple and there we go that's what i wanted to show you about these design kits inside brizzy this is the 2.0 with over 500 professionally designed blocks that are beautifully crafted work across any kind of site easy to update and best of all most of them are available and fully functional inside the free version of brizzy that is insanely good at the top of the video, I said if you wanted your chance to get your hands on a copy of Brizzy Pro, all you need to do is stick around. Well, all I need to do is head over to wptuts.co.uk forward slash subscribe, drop your name and your email address in there, and you'll be added into our weekly newsletter that'll keep you updated with everything that we add to the channel. Best of all, you'll automatically be added into our monthly giveaway where we give away to one lucky subscriber great software like Brizzy Pro. Now, this month, Brizzy Pro is the one that's on offer. Like I said, this is totally unlimited lifetime access to it. So this is worth $299. So just for dropping your name and your email address in, you got a good chance of winning that particular prize in our giveaway. We also let you know every single week if there are great deals, offers, and things on WordPress, you can grab yourself a great discount alongside all the great tutorials we add to the channel. Like I said, all you need to do, head over to the website, subscribe, and you are all done. Well, that's Brizzy Pro. That's the Brizzy Designer Kit. What do you think of this? Is it something you think is a bit of a game changer for you? Are you a designer that you think this really just helps to kickstart your creativity? Or are you the kind of person that really doesn't have a design eye and this just means you can get a great looking website without having to go through all the pain and anguish of trying to figure out what looks good? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to get your feedback on this new feature and also Brizzy Pro in general. As always, all applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts and until next time, Take care.